What's going on everybody? Welcome to, to the video. Today we're going to be talking about how to configure some of the advanced settings in Microsoft's Authenticator. So to start off with, we're going to go to entra.microsoft.com and we're going to go down here to protect and secure and we're going to select authentication methods. Inside of here there's a bunch of different authentication methods. Uh, we're going to select the Microsoft Authenticator for today. And we're going to make sure that it is enabled for all users. I do not want to do passwordless right now. So over here on the configure setting, we want to go ahead and go to enable. And this one is going to require number matching for push notifications, and this is to combat MFA fatigue. So you know if somebody gets a hold of your you know credentials and you happen to be protected by MFA, what they can do is they can just keep pressing it. And eventually you're gonna get sick of the pop-ups and you're just gonna press proof. So in order to prevent that, what we're going to do is number matching. And then the number is going to pop up on the screen and you're going to have to type it into your phone uh, to actually prove that authentication. And then we're going to go down here to show application name in the push and passwordless notifications. And we're going to enable this. So this is going to tell you what app it is. And if you're using single sign-on, you're going to have a specific app for your VPN. You're going to have a specific app for Azure management. You're going to have a specific app for SharePoint. Uh, you know, if you're using Dropbox or any other service that you tie into Azure Active Directory, they're going to have their own enterprise application, and it's going to show up in the MFA notification. And then down here, we want to show the geographic location. So that, you know, if I get an MFA notification and somebody from Nepal is authenticated into my account, I'm going to know, okay, that's not me. And then we're just going to save that. And then I'm going to pop over here to an in-private browser. And I'm going to actually authenticate with that new setting. And I'm a global administrator on this tenant. So even though there's not a conditional access policy, I should trip the MFA. There we go. So we're going to approve a request with the authenticator. And there's my number to match. So over here on my phone, go ahead and pop a little screenshot of that up. So we're going to type in 51 and it shows me um, mark at Imperion.com, Azure Portal, United States, Illinois. It shows my location, and I have to actually type a number in in order for this to work. And I get the approval, and I'm in. So these are some of the tactics that Microsoft is using to combat some of, some of the cyber crime out there, and these are things that you can implement in your environment to protect your users better. So if you like stuff like this, go ahead and click subscribe and check us out for future videos on how to configure Microsoft 365.